Okay, we are going to go ahead and get started. Hi, I'm Susie Bruce. I'm director of the Apple Training Institute and the Gordy Center at the University of Virginia. Holly Deering is our program manager, and I'm sure as team contacts you've received um, a number of emails from her. And we're excited that you're joining us. This half hour webinar is really an opportunity to uh, learn more about the Training Institute, especially if you have not come before, um, and answer any questions. You can use the chat feature. You should see in the lower left corner um, an area where you can type in a question. So if you're having problems with audio or you just have a general question, um, and we'll have some time at the end as well, um, but that gives you an opportunity for a little feedback during our webinar. And of course, you can always email us, and we'll have that information on our final slide. We will be recording this. And we will post it um, on our Apple uh, website in a couple of days. And you can feel free to send that out to other folks on your campus or you can refer to the information. So just so you know who we are, here are our Apple faculty and staff. Um, Michelle Cox, you've also probably gotten some emails from. She is managing our registration. As I mentioned, I'm Susie. Joe Geek is our co-director. Um, and founder um, of the Apple Model and Training Institute. Deborah Reed, um, who you also will be hearing from, and uh, managing a lot of our logistics. And Holly Deering, as we mentioned, our program manager. So here's our fun logo, since we're going to be in uh, the Dallas, Texas area. So if you haven't come to Apple before, just a, a brief history. Um, we created, um, Dr. Joe Geek and Dr. Susan Grossman created the Apple model back in 1991. And the following year received a grant from the NCAA to host an Apple conference to uh, share that model with NCAA member schools. And since 93, we've had two conferences every January that are open to all NCAA member schools through all three divisions. In 2015, uh, Division II leadership um, said they wanted to have a separate training just for D2, and we're now having that every other year. Um, so we're really excited about the support from Division II, um, the funding that allows schools to come basically at no cost. And um, in 2017, we changed our name to the Training Institute to really recognize um, what we um, have become. It's not just a traditional conference. It's much more of a uh, training model. So you'll be learning some core content, and then how do you apply that to your institution? And as we said, um, funded by a grant um, from the NCAA and Division II. So our sponsors are our home at the University of Virginia and, of course, uh, NCAA Division II. We partner with a number of great organizations, uh, the Team Coalition, who provides our um, team photos. And they provide drunk driving prevention at athletic events and other major events. Uh, UNC Greensboro's Institute to promote athlete health and wellness, in particular their My Playbook program, which you may uh, be using on your campus, which is substance abuse um, and sexual assault prevention, um, and a specific for student athletes. And the Center for Drug Free Sport, which provides uh, drug testing um, for NCAA championship events and for a number of schools as well. So what can your team expect as a result of coming to Apple? Our goal is to prevent alcohol, tobacco, and other drug misuse, and you'll hear that referred to as ATOD, primarily through education, because if you don't have uh, the right facts, it's going to be hard um, to help your peers empowering teams, so those are your campus teams and helping you be successful. We at the Gordy Center provide post-training coaching, so it's not just you come to the conference and then you're done, and a lot of networking, and I think that's the great thing about the Division II only Apple is you're with other schools in your division, um, and you'll hopefully be able to um, network, find other schools that are doing similar things, schools that are uh, in your uh, close location as well. So we've mentioned the Apple model. <coughs> so there's seven different areas. 
where we can impact substance misuse within the athletics environment. Everywhere from recruitment and education and policies all the way through if there's a positive drug screen. What kind of referral and counseling, what kind of sanctioning do we provide? So that is the core of the entire uh, training institute and we'll go into much more detail um, during the training. But this is really what the model is and why it's a training institute. We do a lot of assessment um, as part of our grant funding and what you will be learning and we know from 28 years of running the Apple Training Institute is it really does help relationships between administrators, administrators and student athletes. You'll understand what the Apple model is. Um, you are going to increase your feelings of self-confidence that you can impact substance abuse problems on your campus. Students are going to feel more confident and gain skills in how they can confront a teammate. They'll increase their leadership skills. You'll have more knowledge of those ATOD issues. In particular, um, what are the social norms, what's happening with D2 athletes. And then increase your knowledge of what actually works because we don't want folks spending time developing a prevention program that's not evidence-based. So we'll be providing those guidelines. And you're going to leave with an action plan that you create that's really specific to your school. So Apple will allow you to gain a sense of where your strengths and weaknesses are, help you share ideas and resources, learn about really great policies and programs. Some of that is already available on our website. And hear great speakers that you might choose to bring back to your campus as part of a comprehensive program. And again, you'll have that very specific plan to implement change on your campus. So what do you need to do beforehand? Well, as you know, yesterday was our deadline um, for individual registration. We really appreciate um, the phone calls from folks who um, recognize you know, they're still trying to build those teams. Please let us know. So if you need that um, couple days, um, to get that final team, and it sounds like it's, it's a lot of time with student athletes and maybe it's over spring break, um, we can help you come up with some, maybe some creative ways to identify um, student athletes for your team. The first step um, is really, and the, the key step is the athletics department baseline assessment. So as team contacts, you've already re received a copy of an online survey and you should also have it as a PDF. It's a pretty comprehensive survey. It takes some time, but it's really the cornerstone because when you get those personalized results um, in each of those seven areas of the Apple model, that will guide your discussions uh, in March when you're at um, the Training Institute. So we've looked at each of those seven areas. What are guiding principles? What are best practices? And the survey helps assess where your school is in each of those areas. So we encourage you to reach out to other colleagues on your campus who can help you fill that out accurately. Um, and we do need that in um, by February 22nd. On, on our end, we score them all. And we also get average scores. So you'll see how your score is, um, which is all confidential. Only your team receives that. And then you'll also see an average score for all the schools that are coming to Dallas. If you've got a great best practice you want to share, there is an opportunity uh, to present a breakout session. That deadline is also February 22nd. One of the things that's very exciting for us on our end is being able to see the success of schools um, following Apple. So especially if you have attended Apple in the past, um, we would love for, for you to share um, what you've been doing. It's only a half hour session. Uh, we'll help you with sort of uh, how to structure it. We really encourage. <laughs> sounds like I, I, it sounds like I'm speeding up a bit, so I'm going to slow down. <laughs> I apologize for that. Technology is always fun. So if you've got a great program, it's only a half hour breakout, and we have a forum online as the team contact you have that information in your portal. So even if you have not attended Apple before, if you have a program that involves student athletes and is around substance misuse prevention, we would love for you to apply. 
So, a little on this year. We're going to be staying at the Hilton Dallas Fort Worth Lakes Executive Conference Center. Please do not contact the hotel about your arrangements. We make all of the hotel arrangements. So that is part of that individual registration information. Uh, for those of you that are within driving distance, there's complimentary self-parking. Um, checkout is at noon on Sunday and we end at 11.30 so you actually have time to run back up to your room and get your stuff. If you're flying in, uh, the DFW airport is only three miles and the hotel provides a complimentary shuttle. This information is also on our website and they um, asked us to pass along to let them know what their, your terminal and gate number is. If you fly into Love Field, there is no shuttle provided. Uh, as you've heard from your previous information, it is shared, double occupancy hotel rooms, that's part of the grant that we have. So you can indicate a roommate preference. Um, some folks do want the single room, that is an additional $149 charge. And you can email us at Apple Athletics um, at Virginia and we can um, get you the payment link for that. We do have uh, free wireless internet and athletic facilities. It's actually a really nice hotel. We're really excited. I think there will be a lot for students uh, to do um, in the evening when we're done. One important note is that you do need to have a debit or credit card at the hotel to cover incidentals. So that is fine if that is something that you can um, do as the team contact for all your student athletes. We realize they may not all have a card. So one person may provide the card uh, for all others. For our meals, we do provide all meals. I'm pausing because it sounds like we are not well synced. So for our meals, we provide Friday dinner through Sunday breakfast. Everything is buffet style. Um, and we do provide a snack on Saturday afternoon. Uh, as part of the individual registration form, there's a place to indicate dietary needs. And we work closely with the hotel staff to make sure um, allergies or um, other dietary um, needs are addressed. For what to bring, it's a casual conference. Khakis and jeans are fine. Um, please bring your, you know, college, university, sports shirts and sweatshirts. We want to see where folks are from. Um, certainly, folks can bring a swimsuit, workout clothes. We do provide a notebook and pens for all attendees. And please note, at least one person should have a laptop or a Wi-Fi device um, that will allow you to submit your online action plan. That is online only. Um, we do have Wi-Fi in the conference areas, so that's just one note. So you're at Apple, and now what happens? When you arrive, we do ask every individual to check in with us for Apple, in addition to checking into your room. We have a quick pretest um, that helps us, again, gather information for the NCAA. And then we have a great t-shirt. Um, so we do have some nice Apple materials we provide when you turn in your um, form. 
check-in is 1.30 to 4, and our first session does begin at 4 p.m. So as you're planning your travel, please make sure you have time to arrive in time for check-in and get to that first orientation meeting at 4. If you know um, that you're going to have a delay, whether it's a um, you just know you can't get the flight in or it's a long travel day or something happens, um, we will send that information out closer to the date, but just let us know um, so that we can uh, help you out in that transition. Throughout the weekend, we have general sessions as well as breakout sessions on a number of health and wellness topics. And you'll have um, networking opportunities. We do team photos for each of your campus teams and really that chance to share ideas. You should have received your welcome brochure already. Um, if not, it should be in any day. And that provides a weekend schedule overview. So when your team arrives, again, come to check in together. We'll have all your name tags and everything for the team contact, but each person does need to fill out that survey. The first session is at 4, and dinner is right at 5 o'clock. Again, let us know in advance if you have any issues with that timeline. The focus of the evening is the impact of alcohol on athletic performance and sharing some of the D2 data on substance use. Saturday morning, we'll talk about the Apple model. You'll have a long team meeting um, broken up into smaller segments. Then we have breakout sessions, team meetings to create your action plan, and we'll have your opportunity to get your team photo taken. At night, we have after dinner some fun activities and again some networking um, for student athletes and administrators. Sunday, we have our closing keynote. We'll have some tips on how to take the Apple action plan back home and be successful over the next year. And then you have a final team meeting to put the finishing touches on your action plan. For the post-test, um, you know, we want to know what did you learn this weekend and what did you love about Apple? What can we improve? We really do value those evaluations. So we'll give you that information Sunday as well. We mentioned the Team photos, so we have this great backdrop with our logo of the year and an opportunity to sign a pledge against drunk driving. Um, and that is a partnership with Team Coalition. And then they'll be taking a team photo with you in the banner and send you electronic copies. We'll also have a printed framed copy for you when you turn in your action plan on Sunday. When you get back, the expectation is your Apple team will continue to meet uh, to implement the action plan that you create. We have two post-Apple surveys. These are just for team contacts. So one will be in August, one will be in February. It's a confidential way for you to tell us about what's going really well, uh, what are great news we can share, and allows us to help you if you have some challenges or barriers. And again, this is part of our reporting um, to the NCAA just to let them know anonymously as a group what's the impact of Apple. And if you do have a change to team contact, please let us know so we can update that in all of our materials. A little advice from previous contacts. Um, you know, they really encourage uh, folks to listen to your student athletes. That's one of the cornerstones of the whole weekend. We really want to hear what the student athletes are thinking so we can help them. Setting up for success, um, schedule that team meeting before you leave so you're not spending several weeks just trying to figure out student schedules. Um, we will send you a detailed agenda of the entire weekend. Um, in early March to help you prepare. So we'll have all of the breakout sessions, everything else, so you can start to figure out who's going to go to the different breakout sessions um, ahead of time. 
And again, they also talk about, Team Context has said, have that meeting before you come to Apple so that folks know what to expect with them. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. We have a video on our main Apple web page if that's something you can share with your team members to get a sense. Um, it's not just come to Texas and talk about alcohol. We often have student athletes that are saying afterwards, gosh, that was really fun. I, I thought it might be really boring and I really had a great time. And I feel like I'm really making a difference on my campus now. We also encourage you to do a little homework. Um, before you arrive, talk to five different people, student athletes or administrators or coaches, maybe even folks outside the department, and just ask them, what are the biggest issues about alcohol or other drugs in our athletics department? And see what the internal and external views are, and that can help shape your discussions. Again, some advice um, from past team contacts. Just be open. Um, be ready to make a change. Be optimistic. Um, and it's really amazing what one weekend can do for your campus. A few final reminders. February 12th, um, that was yesterday, was the team member registration. If you are having any challenges with that, let us know because um, we're going to start double checking with teams um, probably starting today or tomorrow just to see. We've got six. That's your team. You've got four. Is that your whole team? Just to make sure. February 22nd is program proposals. So if you want to present and have that opportunity, and um, the Athletics Department baseline assessment is also due on the 22nd. So um, as I mentioned before, we will have this um, recording downloaded and it will be up on the website in a couple of days. So you will have access to this material. Um, and if you have any questions, um, we'll wait a moment or two and use that chat feature and let us know. And I apologize, I, I did hear the audio was speeding up and then sometimes it wasn't syncing very well. We tested this ahead of time and it sounded fine, so we're not sure what happened. But we'll have um, all of the slides uh, will definitely be up and the audio we may re-record. Re So we'll wait a moment to see if you have any questions. And I'll also leave up Holly's contact information. The Apple Athletics um, email address actually reaches a number of us. So you may, um, that's a great place where three of us are, are checking that resource all the time to make sure that we can uh, quickly respond to any questions. We have a lot of information on the appleathletics.org website. I'll wait another minute in case folks do have questions. Again, you'll get access to this webinar. And you can contact us if you have any um, questions in general. Well, it doesn't look like anyone is typing. So again, to be respectful of your time, that's why we keep it just a nice short half an hour uh, webinar. We're really excited to welcome you to the Apple family if you're in new school and to reconnect if you've come in the past. We'll have this information up uh, shortly and we're excited. Please let us know, again, if you have any questions at all about the process, about the survey, about registration. Um, we are really excited and look forward to seeing you in just a month. Thanks so much.